So this first photography pickup is a Kodak counter film mat. This mat would have gone on the counter of a camera store and would remind customers to buy more Kodak film. On the mat, it says, get the most from your pictures. And it has a little icon of uh, Kodak film. And it also says, we use Kodak paper for a good look. And it caught my eye because I picked it up at an antique store and it's a very unique piece. Um, I've looked everywhere online and I can't find anything else like it. Um, for me, it's fun to think about all the photographers who would have come into the store and put their film on this mat. So this next photography pickup is NYC I Love You by Joe Greer. Um, it's funny because I've been following Joe Greer for a very, very long time, back when he was working with Visco, and I've even seen tutorials um, of Joe teaching you how to shoot with your iPhone and how to edit your photos in Visco and all that kind of stuff. It's just cool to be able to watch somebody progress as an artist. Um, and just progress on social media, being able to see him and Maddie grow up and um, get married and just things like that. And this work really is incredible. A lot of these photos, I think it has carry a lot of like simplicity to them. And they almost have like a snapshot type feel but at the same time, super good composition, super good colors. Almost feels kind of like effortlessly shot, if that makes sense. I just love the variety. There's just so much variety to these shots. I love that he mixed the black and white um, with the color shots. Just, I don't know, something so cool about this book. So glad that I picked it up. I picked up another photo book. This one, it's iconic. It's iconic. It's called We Are Going to Live This Summer. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I know his first name's Min. I'm gonna guess it's like Yinhu? Min Yinhu? I probably botched it but um, super cool photographer out of Korea. Um, and this is a bunch of portrait work that he has done. And these photographs are just so good, guys. They're so good. I actually haven't done a whole lot of research about what this project was about. Um, I mainly purchased it because I had seen his work and I just kind of wanted to see it a lot bigger. And so that's why I bought the book. Um, and just having a physical copy of it. And he also shoots on the RZ67 mostly. And it's really cool to see another photographer also use a camera that you use quite frequently. A lot of the photographs have um, people in water, which is a kind of a common theme throughout it. And honestly, it's gonna inspire a shoot that I do pretty soon. Um, I think I'm gonna do portraits like this in water. Yeah, I mean, just like the lighting, the color. It's so good. So good. I don't know what film stock this was shot on. And that's what I'm really curious about. I want to say, if I had to guess, it looks like something from Fuji. But could be wrong. Yeah, I think it's Fuji. Pro 400H. It's 
probably for a 400 h mostly. There's some black and white in here as well. So I think you can still purchase this book. So I will link in the description where I purchased it. So this next photography pickup is called the Kodak Master Photo Guide. I also picked this up at a antique shop. And since I picked one up, I've actually been seeing them quite frequently. And I haven't seen too many people talk about this, so I figured I'd share it with you. But basically, this covers so much about film photography, and it's really cool to have something that fits in your pocket um, that covers such a range of topics. Um, everything from sunsets underwater, pictures from airplanes, like this thing just covers so much info. Um, and it's all really geared towards film, um, which can act very differently than digital. Everything from bounce lighting, direct lighting, uh, it's a photo lamp exposure dial, um, filter effects for black and white only, so different colored filters. They also have the daylight exposure dial, so that's basically Sunny 16. So you're getting a lot of information um, in one spot, which I think is super, super valuable. Um, a lot of the information we have is on a website or in a video, and so having something that's physical that you can just carry in your pocket with you um, I really feel like is very valuable. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye-bye.